It's been a week and lawmakers in Austin working to find answers after last week's statewide power outages. Channel 5's Thunby Verma looked into how Valley Wind Farms performed. Willacy County is one of the smaller counties in Texas, but it's a big player when it comes to the state's wind energy, churning it out all the way up to the panhandle. Dr. Christopher Gabler is with the UTRGV School of Earth, Environmental and Marine Sciences. We have a lot of very predictable wind from predictable directions, and that allows us to very reliably produce energy. A representative from Powering Texas, an advocacy group for renewable energy, says during last week's freeze, many wind turbines were still able to provide power. The problem was getting it to go where it needed to. There are projects in Willacy County in South Texas that were generating energy. Um, there was transmission congestion in the region uh, that prohibited all of that electricity that was being made to be exported onto the grid. Dunaway says there were many reasons that took so long to get that power where it needed to go. As you know, there were infrastructure problems all over the state, from iced electricity lines to roadways that were snowed and iced over and preventing maintenance um, support from getting to those facilities. But it's the role of these larger uh, governing bodies and utilities to ensure that transmission lines are up to speed and operational. Dr. Gabler also points out this problem can be remedied with more investment into our energy systems. The research stations in Antarctica use wind turbines to power them, and they have a pretty sophisticated battery complex so that they can store enough of the power produced by their turbines for use when the wind isn't blowing. So far, at least seven board members from the state's Electrical Reliability Council have resigned in the wake of last week's outages. Three different legislative committees have spent yesterday and today grilling ERCOT officials in Austin. Thunvi Verma, Channel 5 News.